Hello! Uh, I thought I'd try something new and do a video review instead of a regular review. I did write myself a script, so uh, I'm going to try and follow it as best I can. If I stumble, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the um, first book in the House of Komari, I hope I said that right, trilogy by Kristen Painter, Blood Rites. I got this from uh, Happy Twilighter. I know her as Jen uh, from Books Make Me Happy. Uh, I was actually supposed to read this a few weeks ago. Um, she has it as an ARC, an advanced reader copy. Um, I was supposed to do it before release day, which is today, incidentally. But I got backed up with school. I'm so, so sorry. Jen that I didn't do it before. I uh, hope you'll forgive me. Um, but the book. I saw a few ARC reviews and was initially attracted to the cover. That's why I asked for it. See the cover? It's really, really gorgeous. All the uh, really intricate artwork all over her back and the colors. Just, it's really gorgeous. So that's why I uh, initially wanted it. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm a total cover judger. Um, yeah, so that's why it initially pulled me in, but the blurb is really what grabbed me. And uh, I'm not going to read it because it takes a lot of time to. Um, I read it in another version of this video and it just it took a long time. So I'm going to try and uh, post it in something. But yeah. Um, it was initially kind of difficult for me to get into the book. There's a lot of world building that goes on. And because uh, I'm not, I don't usually read books like this. I mean, I read a lot of vampire books. But the type of vampire book it is, with the whole Kamari and the houses and all the different things, uh, it, it not my type of book. I gotta say, I'm usually into the Twilight kind of books. But I really, really did enjoy it once it finally got rolling for me. In fact, um, I kind of ignored studying for my exam. But I did make a 94 on my exam, so in case you're worried about that. Um, but yeah, it, once it really got rolling for me, it really did. I couldn't pin it down. It was really, really good. Um, I really liked Chrisabel. I hope I said that right. Even though she spent her whole life in servitude, she's not some meek little girl. She knows how to kick butt and take names, and that's my favorite type of heroine. Everybody knows I hate them weak little girls, and man, my accent's really out there today. Um, when she stabbed Mal, even though I felt really sorry for him, I cheered for Chrisabelle because she wasn't just going to let her take her off to God knows where and do God knows what. So I was really like, yay, Chrisabelle! Uh, Mal, good lord, he had a shitty, a uh, crappy go of it. <laughs> he was cursed not once but twice and lost his wife and child and God knows everything else. And it wasn't his choice to be a vampire, and he has all these freaking voices in his head and pain in his heart, and it just sucks. And I know he doesn't like being felt sorry for, but I did. I felt really sorry for him, even though um, he still he dealt with everything really well, given everything that he's gone through. And that's the mark of a really good writer to me. I felt for him. So... Go, Kristen. <laughs> He's, uh, he never really had the chance to be everything that he could have been. So I hope that, uh, in the next couple of books, Kristen explores more in depth with his character. So somehow Mal and Christabel make their unlikely partnership work, which I thought was awesome. And the tension between them was pretty awesome. I mean, I loved every scene that they had together, even though most of the time they were fighting. <laughs> I can't lie, I did root for them. I hope in the next book, 
um, she explores their chemistry a bit more, but I do have a feeling she's going to make us wait until the third book before anything really happens. Um, I love the secondary characters. I think they're really well written. I loved Doc and Fee, even though Doc was kind of ornery the whole time. But, you know, ornery lovable, especially when he was with Fee. Oh, I love them. I really hope that they make a reappearance. Hint, hint, Kristen, if you happen to be watching this. Tatiana. How do I put this nicely? Man, she's a crazy bitch. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, how she's supposed to be. She's a bad guy. M Mikhail, I think that's how you say it. He annoyed the crap out of me. But he was supposed to be. Supposed to be. He was Tatiana's lapdog. Glad he got who he deserved. <laughs> I can't wait to read the next book, and I'm so glad I don't have to wait long. Three books in three months? That is so awesome. Genius. I give it a 4.75 out of five meows, and no, I'm not actually going to meow, even though I am Mommy Kitty. Um, the only reason I'm not giving it a full five is just because I couldn't get into it as quickly as I wanted to, and that's probably just because... Uh, I was so stressed, stressed with school that I couldn't fully focus, so that's probably just my bad. But uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and thank you for listening to me.